But squirt some of your way watch your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man. I'm here to help you guys accomplish your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams, man. Keep going, keep grinding, and just, you know, stay consistent even in the face of opposition, even in the face of you losing and things not maybe going the way that you like it. Just keep grinding, all right? Stay positive. You know, ever since the beginning of competitive Fortnite, there has been a question that nobody has been able to agree on. Who is the best controller player in the world? And although there's no definitive way to really determine this answer, all right, we can comfortably narrow it down to two candidates, Day and Mero. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be analyzing each aspect of the gameplay in order to see who deserves the title of the best controller player of all time. But before we do that, man, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so the first category we're gonna be looking at is one that most people prioritize when determining how good a player is, mechanics. You know, mechanics in Fortnite is a very broad term, so we're just gonna be focusing on building and editing for this portion. All right, so pretty much anybody can admit that having solid mechanics on a controller is much harder than it is using like a keyboard and a mouse. Both Day and Mero have, you know, extremely clean builds and edits that can easily be mistaken for a keyboard player. You know, they are both very consistent and seem to have a great control over their joysticks. You know, don't get me wrong though, Mero's mechanics are absolutely absolutely insane guys but when you look at day's building i mean you probably agree that day takes the crown here all right so aside from some of the crack creative warriors day probably has some of if not the best controller mechanics in the game i mean it's just very rare that you're gonna see day mess up and retake in a fight and when he does i mean he's just able to quickly recover from it you know his builds and edits are somehow smooth and fast at the same time you know the control that he has over his crosshair allows him to perform whatever move he desires with minimum effort you know most of the time when you see a controller player build their movement is either extremely choppy and fast or smooth but just a little too slow not day though man like he seems to have found that happy medium where he can just be precise with his crosshair movements while still being fast like a keyboard player all right like i just said man Meryl still has insane mechanics he just doesn't seem to be on the same level that day is you know Meryl can obviously you know pull off the exact same moves that day can only he just seems to be a little less consistent and slightly just more stiff when doing so obviously Meryl's doing something right you know considering all the success he's had, but we just think that if he took some time to really look over his sensitivity and made, you know, some minor adjustments, he might find himself looking a lot smoother when he plays. You know, at the end of the day, both Day and Meryl's mechanics are just out of this world. So we just think at the same time, you know, Day is a stronger mechanical player. So we're going to give Day a 9.5 out of 10 and Meryl a 9. All right, so next up, guys, we're gonna be going over aim. You know, it's pretty much common knowledge at this point that controller players typically have stronger aim, right? You know, both Day and Meryl bring this stereotype to the next level, though. Their aim is so accurate, man, and just so consistent to the point where, you know, they just both have received thousands of just Krona Zen cheating accusations. You know, it's just gotten so bad that Meryl has started to stream competitive events with a hand cam in order to prove everybody wrong. You know, as for Day, though, like, we haven't seen him do any hand cam streams or videos, so it's a little hard to completely clear his name, although Krona Zen cheating is a huge problem in the competitive community that Epic has yet to address. All right, so we're going to give both players the benefit of the doubt and assume that their aim is 100% natural talent. All right, so with all that aside, Day and Meryl's aim is honestly pretty similar to one another. They both have solid medium and long range accuracy with almost robotic looking close range tracking. Day might be a little more accurate than Meryl though, but it seems that he still has moments where he whips his shots pretty badly. You know, we rarely see moments like this from Meryl and his aim is usually pretty consistent. You know, now, both players have fantastic shotgun aim. I mean, when pumps were in the game, it just seems like every shot they took on their opponents was just going for max damage. Like if you're fighting either Day or Mero when they have a purple or gold pump, all right, you just better pray because there's just a good chance that you're gonna get one pump. Like seriously, you know, even when one pump's being gone, they still display their skill with strikers. Obviously, these don't hit nearly as hard as pumps, but they still definitely, you know, put in the work with them. All right, so like we mentioned before, both players have pretty similar aiming abilities, but since Mero has taken action and improved he doesn't use a Zen. You know, while Day hasn't, we're going to give Mero a 9.5 out of 10 and Day a 9. You know, Day and Meryl are commonly considered to be two of, if not the best fraggers in the world across all keyboard and controller players. Like you might even remember when they worked as a fragging duo alongside their now retired IGL Reverse 2K. This trio was able to win two FNCSs back to back, bringing home $300,000 in total earnings. You know, not to mention that prior to their consecutive victories, they placed fourth in the previous grand finals as well. The combination of Reverse's IGLing along with Day and Meryl's fragging chemistry was an unmatched 
such combination. You know, Day and Meryl could work together to kill any team in the matter of seconds. Okay, so they were just masters of just playing angles and peace controlling opponents to really pick up refresh kills. All right, let me say this, man. If you guys want your fragging game to look like Day and Meryl's, make sure to head over to ProGuys.com, where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can just improve super fast. Okay, so now that we know how they can fight as a duo, let's take a look at each player individually. You know, Day has some of the strongest peace control in the game. I mean, he does a great job at creating peace control opportunities for himself when he's fighting. One of the things that he is most known for are his high walls. You know, whenever he's trying to retake high ground, you almost always see him incorporate some high wall variations in the mix. These will usually end in Day full boxing his opponent for a quick kill. You know, whenever Day is playing at his best ability, you're going to see that he's able to clean up mid-game fights quickly and create refresh kills opportunities like no other. But, you know, he still tends to just have moments where he ends up choking later in the end game where it matters the most. You know, this may be due to nerves or, I don't know, like playing a little more bold than he needs to. Nonetheless, Day is a phenomenal fragger, but can definitely just kind of up his game by fixing these choke situations. You know, Meryl also has some amazing peace control as well. Like, it just doesn't seem to be on the same level as Day's though. Regardless of this, you know, he's still able to fight both efficiently and consistently. I mean, he's also has some of the best awareness in the game. And so this allows him to spot, you know, and claim refresh kills in the end game with ease. All right, so we think it's just pretty safe to say that Meryl is the stronger end game fighter while Day shines in the mid game. You know, even though both players are some of the best fraggers in the game, they still have some minor flaws that they can fix. All right, with all that being said, we're gonna give Day an 8.5 out of 10 for fighting and Meryl, uh, a 9.5. All right, bunch of quits, Tommy. It's time for the question of the day. I know we're talking about controller players in this video, but who do you think is the best keyboard player of all time? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below, and we're definitely gonna check it out. All right, so now that we both analyzed both Day and Meryl's abilities as players, it's time to talk about what matters the most in competitive Fortnite, guys. Placements. You know, we already talked about what they've achieved as teammates, so it's now time to see what each player has accomplished individually. All right, so Meryl has five FNCS wins under his belt and over $372,000 in online earnings. That's a lot of money. On top of this, he has racked up 32 total tournament wins along with 141 top 10 placements. All right, so that's more top 10s than most players have events played in total. All right, so Day also has some, you know, notable achievements with two FNCS wins, nearly 270,000 in online earnings, and 27 top 10 placements. And so after looking at these stats, it's safe to say that both players have had a great deal of success in their time playing Fortnite, but Meryl takes the crown when it comes to placements. He is currently on a three in a row FNCS win streak with no sign of ending it, and is one of the most popular pros at the moment. All right, so after taking a look at each player's aim, mechanics, fighting, and placements, we've come to a conclusion in deciding who the number one controller player is. With Mero scoring a 28 out of 30 and Day scoring a 27, we like to claim Mero as being the best controller player in the world. Ooh, and on top of the point scale we use in today's video, you know, Mero's recent placements alone should earn him this title. Like, if we're to ask any pro in the community, like, who they think the number one controller player is, chances are they're going to say Mero. You know, this title isn't set in stone, of course. You know, Meryl will need to stay on top of his game and continue to place consistently or else day, maybe even another upcoming pro, can really sneak up and steal a spot. But you tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. That's gonna wrap up things for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, subscribe to the channel and spread the word, man. We got a lot of great content coming out. Man, I've had an honor, you know, just teaching guys this and showing you guys, you know, what's really going on out here. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested to learn more about. And at the end of the day, there is no foolproof way to really determine the best controller player, right? And a lot of it's gonna come down to personal opinion and bias, but, you know, let us know if you guys agree with our decision and naming Meryl the number one player on the sticks. Make sure to definitely connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.